your intro music to the sports video log. It's been a long time since I've done something like this and I am super stoked about it. Um, first team I want to talk about, Cincinnati Reds. First place team in the National League Central. First place team in all of Major League Baseball if you're going by records. Um, it's been an amazing run, an amazing month. Last month the team went 17-9. and uh, Part of that was a 10-game win streak. Um, since the All-Star game, this team has lost Three times. Three times since the All-Star break. That is bananas. This, this stuff doesn't happen. Beginning of the year, it was fire Dusty, fire Walt, fire everybody. Beginning of the year, it was why did the Reds only pick up two players, Wilson Valdez and Ryan Ludwig. Well, guess what? Wilson Valdez has been an excellent addition to the infield, to the outfield, off the bench and anywhere the team has needed him and Ryan Ludwig has been an absolute RBI machine especially since Joey Botto has been on the bench now Botto's been injured for a couple of weeks but the team continues to hit Brandon Phillips has raised his average above 300 Jay Bruce is cracking out clutch home runs and even guys like Stubbs and Cozart are picking up the slack so I mean this team just knows how to win together and the pitching what can you say about the pitching? I mean, it, it's phenomenal. It's ridiculous. Um, I don't even know what to say about it. This team has gone the entire year using five starters. Beginning of the year, what was the problem? We had two good starters, Latos and Cueto, who, by the way, are having phenomenal years. But we had a third starter in Bronson, who might have been good. Then it was Homer Bailey and Mike Leake. Well, guess what? Homer Bailey has been a beast. Mike Leake has been, well, Mike Leake. He's been at... Good start, bad start, good start, bad start. Reds have the best ERA, bullpen ERA in all of baseball, though. So even when a bad start comes, there is chance for a comeback because the bullpen is hammering it down. And they are led by Aroldis Chapman, who has given up one earned run against the National League this entire year. His ERA is sub 1.5. He is averaging 17 strikeouts per nine innings. Uh, need I say more? The this is the first time I can think of a closer being even thought about for Cy Young in a long time. I mean, I'm thinking Dennis Eckersley, maybe. I mean, it's been a while. I mean, I, I don't mean to, like, toot the Reds' horn, but dude is just having that kind of year, and there's no way that anybody can disagree with that. So Cincinnati right now, <laughs> 25 games over 500. Uh, it, I don't even know what to say. It's amazing. So uh, second team that I wanted to talk about, the Cleveland Browns, my football squad, this team, Cleveland Browns, um, having a pretty good uh, preseason so far. Uh, they are breaking preseason records for training camp attendance, which is cool, I guess, um, whatever. Uh, the team just got bought by a guy named Jimmy Haslam. Um, people are making a big fuss because he's a minority owner of the Steelers. Guess what? He's also a billionaire. Does that sound like our last owner, Randy Lerner? It does a little, except for that Lerner spent all of his time in England, funneling money into the Aston Villa Soccer Club. That's fine and all. Give all the money you want wherever you want, Mr. Lerner. But if you're not going to care about the Browns, get the hell out of Cleveland, and that is what he has done. He is gone. Haslam purchased the team for somewhere near a billion, something, you know, give or change a penny, billion and point oh two, I don't know. Um, large purchase amount. He is committed to winning. He is committed to putting money into this team and growing the team. It's wonderful. I love it. That Brandon Whedon, from what I've seen out of training camp, is going to be the starter at the beginning of the year. And as much as I love Colt, and people who know me know that I do love Colt, if Whedon's the guy, Whedon's the guy. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have two quarterbacks that can get the job done. Trent Richardson, also looking pretty good. Um, people are touting him as the next great running back, uh, which is a scary thought in Cleveland. So, because <laughs> they have a history, we have a history, um, but we haven't had much in a while. So, the Browns doing phenomenal things. Uh, next team I want to talk about is the Arch City Army. <laughs> Look at this. 
We've got our own shirts, and I wish I had brought one in here. We have stickers as well. Put this one on. Why? Because we like having fun. Don't worry, it's only the middle of August and it's 100 degrees outside. Here is our beautiful shirt. This is the Arch City Army shirt. I'm here to talk Blue Jackets. The Blue Jackets did trade Rick Nash. Um, it took a long time, and it's sad to see him go after nine years, but a change needed to be made. Uh, the team is getting a makeover. They are. Uh, Brandon Dubinsky, Artem Anasimov, uh, Tim Erickson, um, Nick Foligno for Mark Mathot trade. Last year, trading Russell for Nikitin, trading for Mark Letestu, picking up Vinny Prospel, and we also signed Adrian Coin this year and traded for Sergei Bobrovsky, the goalie. So there's a lot of different things happening in Columbus, and I think as long as Todd Richards can, oh, and of course Jack Johnson, hello, um, I think as long as the team can follow Richards' lead, um, well, there's really no way to go but up. I mean, last year was the worst season ever, and so, I mean, no way to go from up but up from there. Blech. I can speak English. Um, so, uh, I mean, it's been a good sports season for me. Um, I mean, I'll watch the Reds all day anyways, and my buddy Pete's team, the Twins, you know, that's like my secondary team because I love Pete. And I've always liked the Twins. Um, they're not doing great. Not doing, well, they're not, I lied, they're terrible. Um, I feel for them, and when I go on vacation out to Minnesota, I am going to go to a Twins game, and that'll be a good time. But for now, um, the Reds, my goodness, the Reds, it's, it's amazing. And I, I tell you what, if the Browns can come out and go, you know, 8-8 eight and eight next year, by all means, that's a phenomenal season, too. I mean, of course, I'm more interested in what the Blue Jackets are going to do. But in the end, holy cow, the Reds, you know. Um, so uh, as an outro, I wanted to play my song one more time. Uh, just the podcast music that I was playing. So a one, two, three, and... Just a little piece of a song I was writing. This is my beautiful baby guitar. Speaking of reds, um, I'm not going to talk much about the Buckeyes because there's really not a lot to say. I need this hot. I'm taking this stuff off. Go Reds. Go Browns. Go Buckeyes. Go Crew. Go Tottenham Hotspur, who have a new manager who hopefully will do a little good too. Uh, EPL season starts up in 15 days, I believe. So, go world. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Have a great day.